Hey guys, what's up? Let's give it up for Kathleen. Aren't she great? My name is Kim Fisher. It's an honor to be here with you guys. You are her already. What do I mean by that? Her with that capital H. We all sit there, you all sit there, with that dream, that vision of who you want to be in the future, yes? It's that CEO energy, maybe it's that powered mom staying home making millions. Maybe it's that incredible connector in your community. Maybe it's the artist. But one of the problems that we have that I see when I coach clients is that we think that future version of us is way over there. It's something we gotta work really hard to go get. But I see it a little bit differently. I think that who you're meant to be is inside of you already. But the problem is that we just haven't been taught how to extract her, how to go find her, almost reclaim her. But I figured it out. So you're in the right spot at the right time. I've got a four-step method for you called the FIRE method, and I'm gonna teach you the first two steps today. This is going to be that mindset tool that whenever today or any time in your life, you feel like maybe you're playing a little small. Maybe you slipped into people-pleasing mode. Does anyone know that? Oh my God, I'm the best people-pleaser. <laughs> Not proud of that, but that's okay. Sometimes we all slip into comparison as well. It's okay to feel those things, but what's not okay is to stay there. So we need a tool that we can pull out of the back pocket of our mind, yes? And quickly remember who we said we're here to be, who we know we're here to be, and then reorient to that woman, and then take action as her again and again and again. Is that what you want? Does that sound like something that might be pretty useful? Nod your head if you feel like, yeah. I'd like to get back on track when I feel like I'm losing my way. Well, we're gonna learn how to do that right now. So the FIRE method, first and foremost, what is it? F-I-R-E, all stands for something. F, future desired state. You need to get crystal clear on who it is you want to become. See her in great detail. Don't be embarrassed. If something seems incredibly ridiculous and you're like, I don't even know if I should have that thought, that's the one you need to be having. And then get emotional for her. Get emotive. Maybe even feel the tears of joy that, oh my God, I get to be her one day. Yes, you do. You're her now. So once you're fired up, once you're emotional, then we go into I. I stands for immediate action. We don't hesitate anymore. That was last year, <laughs> okay? Now, R, reasonable goals. One of the things that I think is a fallacy in our industry, whether you're a leader or an entrepreneur, is that we need to be busy to be successful. Is anyone over that BS? Is anyone done with that? How about simplicity? Yeah, I think simplicity is the key to success, and one of the ways you're gonna do that, be successful is to set reasonable goals, that's the R. And then there's E, probably one of the most important steps in the FIRE method, and that is enduring faith. You must believe that who you want to become is possible. You must be delulu about it, you must absolutely be delusional, that what you want wants you back, and it's on its way. So I'll just sit here patiently and act as if it's already here now. So let's do the first two steps because I want to prove to you right now how simple and beautiful it is and then it's a tool you can use all the time. I need your participation if you're willing. Please sit up tall in your chair and if you want to play along, just close your eyes. Relax your shoulders up, back and down, perfect. Take a deep breath in through your nose let it out the mouth with a <sighs> Well, that sounded nice. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose. Let it out with a <sighs> Beautiful. And now allow your mind to paint the picture of how you want today to go. Not as your old self, but as your future desired queen energy. 
see yourself walking a little taller? How do you move as her with a capital H? How do you speak? Maybe you're nervous, but you go anyway. See yourself initiating conversation. See yourself enjoying the delicious lunch. Now, ask yourself the most important question. How do I want today to feel? And what I want you to do is anchor into that emotional word right now. Find one word that relates to how you want today to feel when you're done. And when you've got it, nod your head so I can see that you're with me. You got that one word? Okay, open up your eyes. Now I, immediate action, turn to the person closest to you. It could be someone at the other table. 10 seconds each. You're going to go, one of you is going to talk. Tell a little bit of something about your visualization and express what your anchor emotional word is. Ready? Immediate action. Go. One person start talking. A couple more seconds, couple more seconds. You're doing great. Okay, switch to the other person. Other person, real quick. Here's what I saw. Here's my emotional word. Beautiful, great job. And notice how you feel right now. Tune back into your body right now. However you feel, can you let your body mimic that physically? Maybe you sit up a little taller. Maybe it's a deep breath in. Maybe you relax the back of your throat. Mm, yeah, relax the belly. That's queen energy. So now you've got it, guys. You're in it all day long. Piece of cake. You're her with that capital H. Anytime you feel a little bit of that old energy that you walked in here with, love her, thank her. She's just trying to keep you safe. But I want you to choose again. Remember what your anchor word is, take immediate action, and remember, you are her already. Thank you. We're going to have a great summit, guys. I can't wait to connect with you out on the floor. And I think we're getting ready for an amazing panel, so let's give it up for the panel, guys. Thanks again. Thank you.